Hey guys, Skyron here. Before we begin this video, I'd just like to ask that if you're enjoying these lore videos, it would mean so much if you could take two seconds to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps so much with the growth of the channel. Also, share this with one of your friends. Now, on with the video. The Lore Behind Nymphs while exploring the vast lands of Albion, an explorer may come across dangerous creatures that could end their journey. One of these creatures are nymphs. Born from nature, these seemingly playful but, in reality, sadistic creatures typically travel in pairs and show their twisted sense of humour when they meet the other inhabitants of Albion easily identifiable from their bright orbs which allow them to avoid any form of attack, nymphs float around their domain. Although invulnerable in this form, the nymphs cannot use their dangerous abilities when orbed. When coming out of their orb, their appearance resembles that of a small female human with wings. As a more intelligent species, they possess the ability to speak to humans, where they are able to manipulate them. Although, in most cases, they typically taunt their victims, laughing at their attempts to harm them. When coming across a threat, the nymphs simply orb away or get ready to fight. With being fairly small, they are naturally quick and agile, which allows them to evade attacks giving them the upper hand in a confrontation. As with many of the creatures of Albion, there are different variations of the species depending on which environment they come from. The weakest variation and seemingly most common have been found within the forests of Greatwood. The Wood Nymph are recognisable by their green orb and mossy wooden body. With the ability to fly, they are able to evade the swings of an attacker's blade, using the power of nature to cause serious damage. If an adventurer were to discover them, the nymph could use their magic to instantly create a damaging thornbush. Alongside this, this nymph also has the ability to summon scorpions to aid them in combat. Although seen as the weakest of its species, a combination of these abilities would surely require a skilled traveller to survive a confrontation with one of these. Within the marshes of Darkwood and other regions of vast water, it has been noted the water nymphs reside. These nymphs are recognisable by their blue orbs and their blue complexion that matches their surroundings. These nymphs are slightly more powerful than their lower wooden species. As being a creature of nature, these nymphs have the ability to summon hobs to fight for them, brutish creatures that will stop at nothing to kill their target. Found in the region of Witchwood, the rarer and most powerful of the species discovered is the succubus nymph. These creatures are noticed by their dark purple skin and evil aura that follows them around. This nymph is the most deadly to come across alone as it has the ability to conjure fireballs that detonate on impact, resulting in a release of shards that impale any who are unlucky enough to be within the impact range. In combination with this, they also have the ability to summon undead soldiers to fight on their behalf. A deadly combination. It has been noted that some variations of this deadly species have a more powerful version. The Hob Queen was discovered during the Age of Heroes by a hero completing a quest on behalf of the Heroes Guild. This nymph appeared to be an enhanced version of a water nymph. Within the northern wastes, the succubus queen was also discovered by a hero. Again, this nymph was an enhanced version of a succubus nymph. 
these nymphs had discovered a way to summon wraiths, extremely difficult creatures, to defeat on their own. Alongside their evolved traits, these nymphs had also changed their appearance slightly, showing deep purple and yellow markings with a darker aura surrounding them. Although not seen during the Age of Heroes, it is said that there was a fourth unseen type, the Dark Nymph, these being the most sinister of all. It is said that these were responsible for the creation of the Hob species using dark magic. These nymphs were said to have taken in lost children who were unlucky to fall on their path, later devouring their souls. This process turning the children into the awful, brutish creatures that plague Albion even to this day. Over the following years and ages, these intelligent creatures seem to have disappeared from existence as no one seems to have come across them. Or, as with most creatures, they may have evolved to adapt to the new world. So maybe, they're out there, but those unlucky few that have come across them just didn't get a chance to talk about it. Hello heroes, thank you for watching this lore episode on nymphs. I'd just like to thank my gold tier patrons, Jonas, Matthias Crockfist, Scruffroom, Sheev Palpatine, Zero XP Podcast, Cyclonstrophy, and Lewis. Your support helps me make these videos, thank you. As always, like, share, and subscribe if you found this interesting. Now, enjoy your day. Bye.